Welcome to the Peppy channel, your heart flakes. I'm Peppy, your life coach. Today we are exploring mindful eating and how it can help you lose weight and create better healthy habits. For that, we need to understand what mindless eating is first. Mindless eating is just letting our emotions run the show and eating when we are sad, when we are stressed, anxious, or when we are bored. Mindless eating is eating whatever we have on the counter of the kitchen, and that is comfy food. It's not thinking, it's just going for like, mm, don't feel good tonight, I'm gonna just eat that burger, or I'm gonna eat, you know, McDonald's. Mindless eating is eating and multitasking. So while at work, for example, you're just munching and eating some snacks and then suddenly you realize you have just eaten the whole pack or the whole tablet of chocolate. Why is that happening? Because you're multitasking. Mindless eating is considering the meal the end product. That's not it. Where does the meat come from? Mindless eating is being full and ignoring the signals of the body and continuing eating. Mindless eating is eating alone at random places and, you know, not being quite there, just, you know, I need, I need a bite, I need a bite. Mindful eating is listening to our body and understanding it's hungry and just eating when we are truly hungry. Mindful eating is understanding when our body is full and is stopping to eat when we're full. Mindful eating is eating healthy, nutritious foods. And from time to time, treat ourselves with something else. But mainly, let's say 95% of the time, you're eating very nutritious food. Mindful eating, it's knowing where the food comes from. So your steak, where does it come from? What happened to the cow? <laughs> you know, who worked on it? What additives and extra things might the steak have? Mindful eating is eating when you're eating. It's being present and enjoying your meal. In short, mindful eating is a technique that better helps you manage your eating habits. It helps you be aware when you're full or when you're hungry, not because of emotions running the show, but because your body needs food. How to practice mindful eating? Number one, what you cannot see, you cannot eat. Basically, have your counters on the kitchen super clean and don't let there any fatty snacks, any silly carbs. In our previous video, we explore where carbs and silly carbs are and other foods. You have the link down below to explore it. So, everything is clean and you cannot see fatty snacks. Instead of it, you can put some nuts for when you are feeling like snacking through the day. The second tip to know and to start mindful eating is to explore food, to understand what is a carb, to understand what is a veggie, to understand, you know, like what are silly carbs like alcohol or chocolates. And just by doing that, you will know which combinations suit you best and what you can change to eat less calories without needing to count calories. If you want to know more about this, you have everything in my course. I have a 50% off, and by the way, the subscription gives you a full year access to everything. The link is below in the description. The third way of practicing mindful eating is to explore your emotions and your body, and to know when you're hungry and why you're hungry or when it might be a trick <laughs> of your mind. You know, if you feel stressed, you are probably going to mistake that for hunger. So first we need to understand that the signal of being full, for example, from our stomach to our head, takes around 20 minutes to arrive. <laughs> you want to 
slow down on calories remember your snacks should be less than 150 calories but if you are in you know very stressed and you still are feeling like i'm hungry go for carrots seriously <laughs> i know not very appealing but they are appealing when you think about all the benefits that they have for your health so do not overeat also try to be present during your meals and eat kind of remember 20 minutes around more or less for the signal of being full going from the stomach to your brain so if you are enjoying your meal and that's the key not multitasking but enjoying your meal and being aware that you need time for going to the stomach to the brain when your body will send the signal of being full you will be able to know it and stop eating therefore stop overeating if you want to reduce calories and you know make the trick and be sure that this is not happening what you have to do is before your meal drink a glass of water also we need to understand where the food comes from if we look at the dish as an end product we are not gonna be aware of how much work went into that dish of food and the ingredients that might be there and maybe some of it it's not very good for us so for example we can think about veggies in a better light when you see that you know people creating you know taking care about veggies then you have the middleman transportation then going to the supermarket and then you're cooking the veggies also with processed food you can read the labels and be aware of ingredients and you know where the ingredients come from and if that suits you and your lifestyle one don't be afraid to explore your emotions to understand why you are eating two be present when you are eating stop multitasking three listen to your body when it's full explore the different types of foods and you will discover what you can exchange and have less calories